Interlude 13-1. Oh, no, boy. Oh, here we go. Um, <laughs> she hears voices. Her body is broken, and her head feels light. But she hears voices she doesn't want to hear. She doesn't think about why she can hear the conversation. Yeah, that... It, maybe... maybe she's hooked up to Ryder's hearing? But no, that'd be using magical energy, right? So, I don't... But she doesn't want to hear them. She wants to cover her, uh, cover her ears if her arms would move. And she wants to go to them if her... And she wants to go to stop them if her legs would move. Oh, and she's like, This bitch is stealing my backstory of why I fell in love. Like, goddamn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or maybe those are only Rin's memories to begin with. And wait, uh, never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to follow that train of thought. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, it probably blows, but it definitely sucks for her. <laughs> she bites her lip. She scratches the sheets with her fingers. A past event, spoken of lightly. The event that happened four years ago. Her older sister speaks of it as if it's only her memory. <laughs> Who would just stop and watch the rando do a high jump? Uh... Appar apparently Ren, I guess. <laughs> like she's the only one who knows about it. She's immersed in her beautiful memory. Never even realizing that another girl was there. Don't take away my memory. She strains her voice and makes a plea that no, uh, that none can hear. <laughs> the design jumps. Uh. <laughs> uh, if 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 life worked like that, I'd be doing high jumps all day too. Like, is anyone watching? God damn it, not yet. <laughs> oh man. The older sister's monologue continues. Hey, Tom Stomps. It goes on without her, just as she feared. The only thing. The only thing she had an edge on over her older sister is brought down to mere recollections. Using magical energy to bridge the gaps in her ripped nerves, she covers her ears with her hands. Also, this this screen is very, very painful to look at. <clears throat> oh, this is torture. How can she know what's going on in the, uh, in the living room? I don't know. Has her shadow stretched that far? Oh. No. She doesn't want to hear anything right now. No more. She'll go crazy if she hears any more. Knowing this instinctively, she covers her ears, but the voices do not get any quieter. Her sister's voice sound, uh, resounds directly into her brain. Uh, she can't get away. 
even if she covers her eyes or ears. And... Her sister coldly says the words she, uh, she doesn't want to hear. To the last person she wants to hear them. And the voices stop. She cannot tell what's going on in the living room anymore. It's only natural. Her only world is this dark room. There's no way for her to step into the world of light. Her eyes are hot. Probably crying. Yep, she realizes that she's crying. <sighs> Heartbroken and frustrated. Her older sister is a coward. Oh. Uh. Why is she pushing that onto the girl's senpai now? It's her responsibility as Tosuka's Magus. But she's now trying to involve someone else. Well, um, okay, from, from Rin's point of view, though, right, she's giving Shiro forewarning. Because, like, if she just one day up and kills Sakura, right, then she, it's better to, well, actually, is it better to tell Shiro now? Because... If he knows beforehand, he'll try and he'll be wary and try and stop her. I, I would think so. Mm. Her sister is trying to turn her only ally against her. <sighs> I don't like the tone of voice she used when saying that. I'm gonna just throw that out there. She hates her. She knows it's selfish, but she still hates her. She's making him abandon Mato Sakura. She hates Tosuka Rin for trying to induce him. Um... But it's strange. This is what she wants. So why does she hate her so much? Her sister is saying she should disappear. Well, not... Not y you Like, you, you, but like, you. Just not you. Y yeah. Y yeah, yeah. Huh. The girl also knows she should disappear. She doesn't know how it's come to this. But she does know that Emiya Shiro will be, sa uh, will be saved if she disappears. She can't. She doesn't want to lose anything. She doesn't want to be alone anymore. She learned of warmth, so going back to the cold is frightening. She learned of warmth, so warm people are detestable. She will not disappear. She will not be killed. Because... Because... Uh, again, I'm very scared at how... that the tone of voice she uses. But yeah, it, it, it isn't her fault. Right. Everyone else is at fault. <laughs> um, I don't, I, d I don't know. <laughs> it's not like there are, there are a few people at fault, but not not everyone. 
She didn't wish for, uh, she didn't wish for such a thing. It turned out this way because nobody helped her. Nobody helped her, so that must mean they affirm her. They didn't object. That's the same as agreeing with her. Um... <laughs> Sakura? So... Um... No one can punish her. Heh <laughs> uh, 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 no. Uh, okay, Sakura, you can, uh, you can, uh, drop the, drop the act now. I'd, uh, I'd appreciate if you go back to, uh, being the nice, nice one. Please. No. Uh, in reality, she will not die. Nobody can kill her. <laughs> uh, uh, uh-huh. Even if someone still wants to try, that's fine. Um. Um. <clears throat> uh. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't like that. I don't. I don't like it. If she's to be killed, she'll rather. Desert. I don't know. <laughs> Not only her older sister. She'll be merciless. Even to her senpai. <laughs> oh great. Oh great, we're we're on a chopping block too. Lovely. Love that. Love that from her. Oh good. oh boy. Um <clears throat> Yes. If you will turn away from her in disgust, then she would rather She would rather like she does in her nightmare. So he won't become anyone else's. <laughs> she coughs violently. The pain turns her wild imagination to blood, and she coughs it out. They don't connect. She can't tell the difference between good and evil. She can't tell what's good. She's about to lose her mind, not knowing who she is or, or how long she can stay sane. Konnichiwa. Oh. Oh boy. Then... Before she notices, the silver-haired girl is before her. Ilya, please be careful right with Sakura right now. I don't... The same girl as her. The white girl who's who is to become the container. Who is not treated as a human being. Saber, Lancer, Casta, Berserker. あはこの4つだけならまだ良かったのにどこでそんなものを取り込んだのさくらまだ朝日とライダーが残ってるのにもう道足りてるなんて驚きだわあーしどんなアンダースタンド um... understand She's heard from her grandfather that the girl is just like her. A container that collects the souls of the defeated servants. Okay. <laughs> oh, love that image. Love that. Um, <clears throat> But she's not heard about any servants being defeated other than the ones just mentioned. Yeah, um... Sakura, about that, right? You know... You... yeah... You may have... You've done some things in your... In your quote-unquote nightmare. Not really a nightmare. Yeah. 
おかげでアーチャーを奪われる心配がなくなったんだから深くは尋ねないけどさくらこれから自分がどうなるか分かっている Her head cools down. Her mind, delirious with fever, regains Mato Sakura with those words. Well, uh, you know, it's hard to say, but in all likelihood, your body will be eviscerated and made into a holy grail, like, cursed portal in the sky thing. I don't, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> um, the white girl shuts her mouth. Ains Burton's master. She was meant to be a vessel from the beginning, unlike the fake Mato Sakura. And that's the truth of it, ain't it? Oh boy. And the girl tells her about the destiny that awaits them both. <laughs> 